Hello everyone, my name is Jared, and welcome back to another video for my homemade shotgun video. Well, homemade shotgun series, come... Mm, Padre, sorry. I've probably offended someone right now, but don't... Please don't sue. But basically, I have a new project going on. This time, it's going to be my real shotgun. If I can get it to work. Because unlike this, my original project... She functions... She just don't function for a 22. Meaning, what I have right here is an illegal shotgun. When I remove that bolt, that makes it, that'll make it illegal. I'm going to leave that on, or if not, I'm going to weld it on, because all that's being held on is with a little finishing nail. But I'm going to put this project on hold, because I still need to do a bit of work. Need to file down the this right here so that I can fit a shell I can actually well I need to remove the inner weld I didn't I did a really shoddy job well removing it with a single file I then also got to file this a bit more because now this thing has the uncanny habit of catching though she fire it still fires I don't want to have to deal with it. I'm going to have to file a bit more because I had to straighten it. Now it's all off center. It's all messed up. And I don't want to ruin it. So, my new plan is I'm going to challenge myself in a way. Is I'm going to make one of those specially designed ones where it has a sep. The hammer is flush, but it the firing pin is a separate item. I may uh, take an angle grinder and cut a notch out because I will be also putting, planning on putting a latch on here. I'm probably going to be grinding this area flat so that it will accept a large enough bolt or I will probably be making one of my own. Drilling straight down and tapping it, tapping it for so it will stop to here and... Yeah, I'm probably going to have to cut a new one of those. Oh. Ah, bugger. But I'm probably going to... This is going to be my concept. I'm gonna, probably going to need to cut a longer one of these. I will be using probably using this... The head of the rest of the nail for... Make a screw... To put a new... Th put some thread on here. And drill a hole. Tap it. Tap it and dye it so that I can... Make a thread in here basically make a base of private shotgun blah 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 and what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna cut this and open it out so that I can use it so yeah so I can get a little bit of spate work room in here so I can add a firing pin a, a hammer and a trigger and one of not one of these not one of those I want one that actually, you cock it back, and it stays cocked. And I do have a few concepts in my uh, gum book, and I've actually been looking up some Cryptic Crickets concepts, which, in, it's kind of sketchy, but I can do it with my, I can do it with the tools I got. Basically, I would have to cut a, a large portion of the bottom out. But, yeah. New plan, new project, new gun, new sh new struggles, like I.E. literally, but, yeah. Barrel, overall, has overall been left unchanged. I have this box tubing, I cut a hey, big old chunk out of it, I took one of the ends off, and I cut about a good six to seven, about four or five inches off. And then I cut a groove, a groove in here to fit. There we go. I fit a groove. I cut it, cut a groove in here so that it, this will fit, will accept it, so that I can prep it for welding. I also scored this entire thing. Ooh, splinter. Ow, damn it. And then I took a hammer and literally pound the hell out of the center in my attempts and it's almost flush I still need to do a bit more hammering and gr grinding but overall 
I'm almost... It's the beginning of a new project. This one's on hiatus for now. Focus, damn you. This one's on hiatus. I'm gonna start working on this one, because I have a few... I, I have learned from this one, I've learned a few pro changes, what I could put into this one to make it better. Other words, my name's Jay. Signing off.